crafty friends, it's Erica Scraptiva29. Welcome back to my channel. I wanted to come on today to share with you how I created this envelope using my dies. Um, I had a few people ask me about this die and um, I actually was reading a blog post and a lady showed how she used her dies to create um, little mini um, gift card uh, envelopes and I you know, immediately started to go through my dies to figure out which dies I could use to try to recreate what I had saw. So this is how, um, well, this is the one of the ones that I made. And then I started thinking, well, what if people don't have this particular die? What else can they use? Um, so I had created some other envelopes um, just using my um, We Are Memory Keepers um, envelope punch board. And then I used some different dies to create um, this flap right here. So um, I thought I'd come on today and share with you how I created uh, these um, envelopes and also this uh, scalloped uh, envelope using my dies. All right, I will be back with a quick tutorial. Thanks for watching. I'm going to show you how to create these envelopes using your dies as I just shared. All right, so I'm gonna show you what you're gonna to need uh, to create those dies. So I'm using um, my Spellbinders Platinum die cut machine today, and I'm also gonna be using my Sizzix uh, Big Shot as well. Um, and I'm using this die right here. I'm using this die right here. And then I'm also using this uh, nested square set as well. This is from Cat Scrappiness, and these are both from online stores. All right, so let's get started. So what you're gonna need, well actually, you're also gonna need your We Are Memory Keepers envelope punch board so that you can create the gift card size envelope. That's what I used. So we're gonna start off by die cutting our paper. So I'm gonna start off by showing you how to um, create the gift card or the envelope, the gift card envelope using this die first. It's a really pretty scalloped stitched square die um, that I picked up off of AliExpress. So I'm just going to run this through my die cut machine. And I like to run it back a second time when there's a lot of detailing on the die just to ensure a really nice cut. And as you can see, it cut out very nicely. So I'm gonna put this off to the side and go ahead and do my rest of my die cutting. And then we'll go ahead and make the um, envelopes. All right, so I'm going to take this die set right here. This is from Cat Scrappiness. And I'm gonna take the largest um, die from this set. And I have a couple of pieces of paper I'm just going to cut two out together. I should be able to, actually, I don't know. I think I cut this paper too small. I guess I will just do one. We'll just cut this one right here, place it on the die cut machine, put the covering plate on, and through. Since this is, um, there's no detailing on this die. I just run it through with one pass, no problem. So let me move this out of the way. It's extremely heavy. And I'm gonna be moving this one up, up because I'm going to be using my Sizzix Big Kick in just a second. All right, so to create this scalloped envelope, I'm going to use this We Are Memory Keepers Envelope Punch Board. We're going to create this gift card, um, which is five and a half, or actually it's five by five. This is five by five. And you're gonna score at two and three eighths. So uh, you just line it up on your punch board to two and three eighths. And you're gonna go ahead and um, punch it and then score it punch it, score it, and we're going to do that all the way around till we finish the card. And what we're going to do is just fold on the crease lines. 
give it a good crease. I'm going to take my tape, my ATG gun, and a little adhesive. And it'd be a good idea to use a bone folder, that way you can get a really great crease on your envelope. But this is how I created the really pretty uh, scalloped envelope. It's really, really pretty. And then when you close it, you have that beautiful detailing on the outside. So really, really pretty. And I just wanna make sure I'm in focus and in frame. So yes, love it. All right, so that's how you create um, that envelope using this die set. Now I'm gonna show you how to create um, the envelope using a plain square die. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna take this and put it at two and three eighths. Line it up, punch, score, two and three eighths. And I'm using my new stylus tool that was gifted to me by Kathy here on YouTube. Thank you so much. I love the stylus. Um, love it. So thank you so much. You have your envelope. It looks like this. You're going to go ahead and crease it. I also like to do the little notch right here to um, have the rounded edge at the uh, this part of your envelope. And... Again, we're going to take the adhesive and apply some adhesive, and there you have your envelope. Now, to create the scalloped edge, um, what I did was I used this die set right here, and I'm going to use this second one in, and I'm going to line it up on my gift card envelope because I want to create that scalloped edge using this border of this circle. So I'm going to move this out of the way. I'm going to bring my die cut machine back over here. I'm going to lay it down and just position it right here. Now if you're afraid that your um, die is going to move, you can definitely use some washi tape and adhere it down for security. I'm going to just uh, make sure my die doesn't move, but I have it lined up right here, so ensuring that this whole part will cut out the top of the envelope. And I'm only going to partially die cut this envelope because I don't want to mess up the rest of the uh, envelope. So I'm going to put my plate on top, lay it flat, and I'm just going to carefully roll and just a little bit. You don't want it to go too much. And I'm just going to do it one more time. And I think that's good. You're going to take it off. And as you can see, you just pull this off, pull this little piece off. And now you have a really pretty flap for your envelope. So this is just a, another fun way to use your dies. I thought I would just come on and quickly share. Um, I think it's super cute and it's a fun way to dress up your envelopes. So I hope that you found this uh, tutorial helpful. Please leave a comment. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, of course, leave them down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.